hello hi here's a video that has been much requested hi. hello about me doing the cricket mug press in the mug and i made this cute orangeburg mug and a lot of people were asking me how i did it definitely this technique is sublimination but i'm gonna show you the design <laughs> ooh, the design portion of the mug okay and so i'm getting ready to make a mug for a good friend who um lost uh their son and i just want to do something nice for them so i'm gonna make them some mugs and so i'm gonna walk you through the process of me doing that i was i brought out my other mug because i'm just trying to decide if i want the graphic to be a um right-handed graphic or a left-handed graphic because i realize on my orange bug <laughs> orange bird <laughs> orange bird mug that i would have to hold the mug in my left hand to um see his picture as i'm drinking and if i hold it in my right hand then i'm gonna be seeing the hello sunshine so i think most people hold their mugs in the right hand if they're right-handed and i don't know if this couple is right-handed or left-handed but that's one of the things that i'm processing okay so I just want to say welcome if you're new to the Sweet Life family. We are the Three Copes to Tears and we're YouTubers. Now we predominantly do Disney vlogs, but every once in a while I'll fit in um, a custom design video because my business is custom design work. And sometimes I'll do homeschooling videos. It all depends. But this has been a highly requested video in the Cricut Mug Press group as well as the Disney Cricut group. So I'm going to show you how I did it with this mug. So um, I just want to say welcome. If it's your first time, please do not let it be your last time. You may have come as a guest, but you will certainly leave as a friend. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification. Set it to all so you're always notified every time we come out with a new video. And if you like this content, make sure you let me know because I'll do more videos like this. Make sure you let me know if you like um, the mug that was designed um, and the tips that I gave. Just leave comments, okay? Because it lets me know and it lets YouTube know what you like. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up, all right? Now, you know what I always say, grab your favorite snack, get comfy, and let's start designing this mug together, all right? <laughs> So I kind of cheated and I already have been playing around with graphics, but basically I'll show you what I did. This is our little buddy Landon. He is the one who passed away. Um and I'm making the mug, okay, for his parents. I'm going to make them each one, so I'm just trying to get it together. Here is the element um, of the mug, so let me, of this design. So, they have a template. Let me just save this real quick, and I'll let you know. Okay. So, in the Cricut design space in the home, they have a template for the mugs, okay? And... Right here it says uh mug design your mug here i think this is the one let me see right here let me see Welcome design to mug i think this is it let me see customize let's see if we go in here okay yeah this is the one and this is for small because i'm using small i'm sure it's large so in there you got your outline already together you got the white you have this perforated line that you can, you know, get rid of and, and so forth. So I already have that on the other one. So we're going to go back to the project and I'm going to open up this one and we will walk through the steps. Um, let's just replace it. It's going to bring up the same information. All right. So I got the picture from... Instagram this picture came from Instagram from his mother's page and this page came 
from online and the reason why i picked this background is just because i noticed that there were some trees in the back of landon's picture and i just kind of wanted it to go together and um yeah okay so what i did first is i went online and i'm working on my mac so i screenshotted this picture if you press um caps um no sorry shift command and the number key at one time it will uh screenshot for you i also did that for the picture here and so um here is the screenshot it says take a screenshot press and hold these three keys together shift command and the number three um, and then you'll be able to edit it all right so so let's go back to cricket all right so here I'll kind of put this here I don't want the tree um, per se I think what I'm trying to do it'll be better if I have just a greenery so you want to make sure you have a little space here and a little space there because you'll want some gapping around your cup, your mug. I'm sorry if it's a little loud, but it's okay. All right, so I just stretch it out. Now, this is the middle line here, as you can see. And it doesn't have to be stretched all the way to the middle. You don't have to do that if you want to, but you can if you want to. Um, or you can actually bring this over some like that to make sure it's in the middle. And then that'll just wrap around to the other side. And that's perfectly fine. Okay. All right. So that's cool on that side. Now on this side, I want to put some words. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to say. Let me just say this. Okay, so I finally figured it out. I wanted this scripture, but the Lord stood with me and gave me strength just to remind them that God will give them strength. And I was going to type it in and put it on here, but as you can see, it wasn't coming through with any of the colors. Even if I did white, it was just very faint. And you won't be able to really read it. So, I'm getting rid of this. And then I found this graphic. And I'm going to leave the green in the background just because I don't want any white space. So, what I'm going to do is put this here. So, bring that closer to this image. And it's all lined up. Great. Even if it's a little green over here, that's fine. And over here, okay. Now, we're gonna get rid of that because I don't need that anymore. So it, I keep that there. That's my little bases. I'm gonna remove the red from behind there. I'm gonna remove this from behind there. So now I only have this, this, and this exposed. And then I'm going to take this and highlight it. And I'm going to flatten that image. So now it's all one piece. So when I print it, it's going to come out just like that. And then we will press it. I will show you tomorrow. See, this is not here. I took that away. This is gone. I'll take that away. But that's the guides, okay? Now I'm going to save it because tomorrow we're going to print it out. Because I'm not going to do it right now. I'm watching TV. But it's going to be so beautiful. I love this. It's going to come out perfect. And you'll see. All right. So good morning. It's on the next day. And it's, uh, I'm so glad I started working on this yesterday because you guys are starting to ask me, when is the video coming up? Okay, so let's come out of this project and we're going to go into the Orangeburg mug. Just so you can see, it's pretty much the same concept. I don't want you guys to feel slighted like I'm not sharing with you the Orangeburg. Okay, so basically what I did was, let me unflatten it. Okay. All right. So it's this piece that I got offline. You just get your picture that you like offline, right? And then this is another thing that I got offline. 
okay and i did this one was trans i don't know i think i might have had to clean this up but it wasn't hard and i'll show you what it was and this is the yellow block i don't want to take it for granted that you know how to do the uh yellow block so let me just show you you go to shapes you get your square and you're gonna unlock it down here right over here in the circle and then you drag it down and across and that's how you get your, your you know your border like that and then you change the color up here to whatever color you want okay i didn't want to take that for granted that you knew how to do that so i just placed it how i wanted it placed okay and then you select it all and you flatten it and then it's ready for printing and it's ready to go in your mug okay so let me just show you pretty much how i did that so you upload and you know how to clean up a graphic i think so i'm just gonna go over it just because let's see or Cause I don't remember. Let's see if it'll come up Orangeburg. Hmm. So let me go in my downloads. Let's just take this image because let's say I was using this image, right? Go. I can keep it just like this and upload it to the mug, but I also can clean it up. You see? And then I can save that and put it on the mug. So you can either leave it with the white background if you like, or you clean it up. That's pretty much how you do that. And then once you upload it, it'll go in there and see, continue, take this image right here. Let's see. Um, put that in there. This you can change, unflat, let me unflatten it. Unflatten, take this off, let's take this off. You can change this any background color you want. Let's just say I wanted it blue. There we go. Then I could put poo and ticker there and you could put words here. So you could play around with it, okay? Let's take this off, we're just gonna Go back. I'm gonna take it back because this is my orange bird one, so I don't need to mess with it. All right, just save it. Okay. Um, the key is always that you want to flatten it. Okay, highlight, and it's a button right over here in the corner. It says unflatten because it's flattened, but you flatten it. All right. So let's go back to the landing mug, and we're gonna get ready to print it. Send it to make it. And you see it's gonna print just like this and then it will create. You wanna mirror it, especially if you have words because you don't want the words to print backwards. Always mirror if you have words. Mirror anyway, but if definitely. Okay, here I come, baby. Practice um a couple more times. I'ma send to the printer. This is my Epson. I don't want bleeding. Turn the bleeding off. I'm gonna, I wanna print best quality. So I'm gonna put use system dialog cause I want it to communicate differently than just a basic thing. I'll go to my layout printing settings. I want premium presentation paper matte. And then that gives me the opportunity to hit best quality. Then I'm gonna hit print. And it's gonna, ooh but I don't know if it's ready to print to my printer. Let's go to the back off. So here is my printer. Let's see, it doesn't have the paper because I didn't put it in there. Oh, Lordy. Okay, here's my special paper. I only like to feed it really one paper at a time because sometimes this thing sucks in heck of paper and I don't want it to do that, okay? So. Righty. So, yes, put that in there. Now it's gonna, you always turn the paper face down in this printer. And while that's printing, 
I gotta throw this away. I was working on a project yesterday. Yeah, I gotta come here, turn on my machine so that I can get it ready. And I'm gonna throw that away. And that's receipts I gotta do. So I'm getting it prepped. I am printing for my Cricut Maker. I'm cutting for my print, <laughs> my Cricut Maker. Okay. So it's gonna have to communicate with thought. And then it will be ready to cut. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it looks absolutely beautiful and it's come out of the printer. So I'm not gonna, you wanna be careful not to like smear it because you know, it's a high ink. It's a high graphic ink. So you just wanna be careful. All right, so now I'm going to place it. As you can see, it has it lined up on this side of the mat. So I'm going to line it up because you want to make sure that you line it up the way it tells you. And then that way your maker can um, communicate. So let me just tape it down and I'll show you. Let me tape it down because this mat has kind of gotten old. They get old quick and you can wash them and help them to be sticky. But and like right now, I don't have time to do that. So I'm just going to tape it down just to make sure that it's not moving as the maker is cutting it. Um, yeah, that's why I do that. So I have little pieces of clear masking tape that I'm going to put because these are the registration marks. The black um, big box is the registration mark that the Cricut is going to cut. So it's also I want to say when you subliminate it's very faded when it prints out, but the heat is kind of like what activates the ink. So you don't have to worry and be like, oh, that came out kind of dull. It's printed on the best quality. So let's put it in there. Make sure it's smooth down. All right. And then here, ooh, my ears fell. I've already printed. I'm going to do photo paper and I always like to cut on less when I'm doing this. And then you hit the go on your maker and it will cut it so it's done cutting and as you can see it just pops right on out this is the graphic that i'll be using i think my mug press i only used it once since i got it when it was brand new so i think my mug press needs an update so i'm gonna go into the other room but i'm gonna grab my scissors my cord and my computer in this so the mud press is heating, so it doesn't need an update. I heard it needed an update, but that is not true. Okay, so for this project, yes, I am. I am using these mugs, the Cricut design, but you can use any mugs that are um, sublimination mugs that are straight walled in these measurements. You can use the smaller mug or the bigger mug. So I am using the smaller mug. Um, so yeah, push that up a little bit. Yeah, this one was a two count. I have more, but when I first purchased it, I only bought two. So I believe the measurements are on here. If you want to, let's see. Ceramic, yeah, here goes the um, 3.77 inches, 12 ounces. This is a 12 ounce mug, 3.22 inches wide, tall width. Okay, so that's the measurement. All right, so I'm going to clean my mug with some alcohol. Whoa. And let it dry. I will save the wrappers because I'm gonna wrap it back in the mug when I, the mug back in it when I'm done. Um, I just have some little alcohol pads and then I just use that. So we'll just open up one. And I'm gonna wipe it off really good around the whole mug and then I'm gonna let it dry. Yeah, that's hot. All right. Good, all right. And then they say to get a lint roller, and I have one. It's not the best, but it works, I guess. Let me get that. Carefully give it a little roll. 
and as you can see, it will print the words upright because we mirrored. I'm excited about this. Okay. See, and this is the part I don't know. Like, you roll, you lint roll it, but sometimes my lint roller comes apart. Oh, there we go. Okay, you gotta go the opposite way. <laughs> Funny. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. You just trying to get any lint off. I am using the blue tape by Cricut. The blue heat tape. When I sublimate, I have a different tape, but um, when I do the mug press, I just use their brand. It doesn't matter, it's all tape, as long as it's heat resistant. So first I'm just gonna do a couple of strips, like this size, just to get it ready. Put on my countertop. Yeah, I'll show you if you didn't see it. <laughs> I'm not sure we did. I'm kind of working backwards here. So this size. Okay, okay let's start off with the back. So now the mug is dry and it's lint free. You just want to really make sure. Like it's weird. I can feel some um, griminess on this mug and it has nothing to do with me. Or maybe it was from that lint roller so just make sure if you lint roll you fill it out just to make sure you don't have any stickiness on your mug because I don't want that to transfer onto the mug I can literally feel the adhesive from the lint roller that got on there okay get now I know it's clean and I'm gonna use a different paper towel because that one had adhesive so I just wanted a clean fresh slate so you want to make sure that you are laying the graphic down evenly, okay? So you want it to just be, once you figure out if it's even pretty much on both sides, you don't want it to be like longer on one side than the other. And I think it's safe to say that that is about even on both sides. Maybe I could bring this side over just a tad. It's just a game you're playing. Okay. This is just a seated. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And make sure it's a little bit, you know, on both sides, the white showing. Okay. So you got that really good and that's your layer you're not done you're gonna make sure it's down okay good there we go now you know it's down there and i'm gonna make sure it's down there we go pull it pull it pull it now you know it's Tight around. This is a little bit, but I think, let me see. I'm just sorry if you can't really see. I'm just making sure it's secure. Okay, that should be good. All right, now we got that. Now, the next thing that I'll need is some, you can use butcher paper or parchment paper. I like parchment paper, but this one is unbleached, so it looks like this paper. This is just um, parchment paper, unbleached paper. Okay. This is to keep the ink from ruining your heat press okay so from one side to the other again if it's overage in the middle at the top i mean it doesn't matter all right Ooh, press that we don't want that to turn off okay so now you see it's all covered we're gonna put it in the heat press 
even. Like. Carefully, you don't want it to move, okay? Ready? And then you're going to push it down and the heat press will do the rest of the work. You let it go. Okay, so now what's going, you let it go until all the dots are done and then you know it'll make a sound, sound and it'll be done. Make sure you got your handle lined up with it. So it's doing its job. You can go about your way and it'll let you know when it's ready. Okay, so Siri has set our timer for 30 minutes. It just, I don't know what's going on, but we will come back in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and I'm in the garage working. Well, the Sweet Life Lab, this is the lab where our factory. The law! This is Sweet Life Factory, I'm sorry. Where we do a lot of work for the business, no. So now I can remove the tape from the mug. It's completely cooled. The graphic should have set. And I've just got to remove the tape. Sometimes the tape is a little bit difficult to remove. Oh, and look how beautiful it came out. Oh my gosh, it's so. But the Lord stood with me and gave me strength. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Be All right. careful, girl. I know, be careful. Okay, this is so beautiful. Can I see it? All right. So, I will say this. Where... Did that come from? Huh? It's a little bubble. Okay, yeah. All right. So here's the front of it. Okay. Can I please hold it? In the back. And it feels like it kind of messed up a little bit, but it goes with Wait, the graphic. It's okay. I'm not going to major in the minors. Can but I hold? hold on. Let me show them. Hold on. <laughs> so here's the beautiful graphic. The scripture on the back but the lord stood with me he gave me strength and i just wanted to make this one to encourage his parents oh, it's so nice huh don't break it yay so next time i will probably tape here um yeah. to make sure it doesn't move move or make a bubble Right. I mean, it kind of, and it could have been the adhesive because, like I told you, some adhesive, adhesive. I got it off of the front, but I don't think I got the adhesive off of the back. But I am still pleased with it, it looks good. Um, yeah, it looks good, but I like it. It came out nice. Oh, our little buddy, may he rest in peace. That is our video. I'm back here cleaning out my garage. Don't judge me. <laughs> but um, that is the um, graphic. It kind of looks like an old, I don't know. It's a, It has an old feel to this picture, but I liked it. Wait, so. let me feel the old feel. Oh. No, not that. Yeah, so there definitely was some adhesive. I could still feel the adhesive a little bit. So I think that's what it was, but I didn't want to waste the mug. Um, I do have more if I just want to keep this one, then I can keep this one and then make them two more. But that is the concept of sublimination and bringing in other graphics. I think I am going to keep this one and I'll, I have two more mugs. So I will, um, you know, make them two fresh mugs where I don't have that adhesive in there. So I think for me, I'm not gonna roll it with the lint roller because I'm not sure if that is what did it, but um, I would just clean it with the alcohol pad, wipe it off really good with a dust-free cloth and go from there. So that's the video. I hope it was helpful. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, set it to all so you're always notified every time we come out with a new video. And please hit like if you like this video, if it was helpful for you, all right? Remember, the sweet life is the right life, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.